Rotary family and all members of the Rotary movement on the African continent and beyond. It is a great honor and a privilege to get an opportunity to make a few remarks on this rare and auspicious occasion that marks a momentous centenary celebration of the presence of Rotary on the African continent. It has been an enormous pleasure for me personally to have been associated with Rotary as a patron of the Rotary Club of Maluti during the past 27 years. It has been an enjoyable and fulfilling journey that we have walked together with Rotarians during which we witnessed the huge impact that the programs of Rotary have had in the communities that they serve. The incredible work of the two Rotary clubs that operate in the Kingdom of Lesotho, the Rotary Club of Maluti and the Rotary Club of Maseru, is clear evidence that these clubs and their members are committed to providing service and advancing goodwill. This they do by initiating projects that assist the less privileged in areas such as education, health, water and sanitation, and by donating books, blankets, and various forms of clothing. These modest but significant gestures of generosity have contributed to the upliftment of the lives of many Basotho. Over these years, I have had the honor of attending all the presidential induction ceremonies, as well as the inductions of the two district, co district governors that our country has produced. It is worth noting that one of those two district governors is the first Musutu woman to occupy such an esteemed position in our district. At these induction ceremonies, I have had the privilege of listening to the report on the activities of the clubs where they outline their successes and of course, the many challenges that they face. It is therefore my distinct pleasure and honor to convey my hearty congratulations to Rotary for its 100 years of selfless service on the continent of Africa. I'm also proud to congratulate the Rotary Fraternity for their display of fortitude and grit as they carried out their noble mission despite the daunting challenges they have, fa they have faced in the last hundred years. It is my hope and wish that the values, principles, and spirit of Rotary can spread to a larger proportion of our society. Until all of us in Africa are able to arrest the ever-increasing moral degeneration 
in our respective societies and create a more just, equitable and inclusive political and economic architecture that can bring benefits to all our people now and for generations to come. In conclusion, it is my fervent hope and prayer that the grace of the Almighty may continue to be with Rotary in Africa as it seeks to bring about positive and enduring change to our beloved continent of Africa. I thank you all.